What's going on everybody? Glad to have you back for another week, but we've got a problem. I know I promised you guys gutters this week, but no bueno, it's snowing. So let's go take care of that nasty white devil's sugar outside. And I've got something that I'm going to try. We went with Dan's vlog suggestion and there is a spark arrestor screen in here and he told me to pull that thing out, that exhaust port, cut that piece of garbage off, throw it back in there and then she's gonna come alive. Well, we're gonna see because I did that the other day and we're gonna give it a test. You know that we don't use shovels unless we absolutely have to. Time to put the BG86 to work. Let's go. So worried about this stuff right here because it's not thick the salt is going to take care of all of this stuff like this little powdery stuff that's what the salt's going to do so i'm not really worried about it let's see if we can go for a slide Yep, she's slickery.
So maybe you're one of those people that says, well, why would you use a snowblower when you're gonna waste all that gas and you could use a shovel? Because I like to play with toys. So that's why we're using a snowblower. Does it take a little longer? Well, not a snowblower, I would say, but it's my snowblower, a yard blower. Does it take a little longer? Yeah. But is it better than using a shovel? Yeah. Is it way more fun than using a shovel? Oh yeah. So that's why I do it. It's not because it's like the best thing in the world. Sometimes it's absolutely great. If you get a light snow, boom, it's just gone. You just blow that stuff away for days. But like today, no, it's a little thicker. It's just more fun. Let's salt this beast. So here's what we're gonna do. Scott's Turf Builder DLX Spreader. This is the new, the old guy, the one that I got last year. But something I didn't show you guys last week in the video was that, the new Earthway Spreader. I know you can't really see it because it's behind this bike, but boom, 2050p. Uh, that wasn't here, that's why it wasn't in the video. So that's, uh, that's a new spreader. So we're gonna turn this guy into a salt spreader. You guys will probably notice that I don't use the regular sidewalk salt off the shelf. This is water softener salt. It's thicker. I mean, the granules are bigger and it lasts a lot longer on your driveway. It doesn't melt right away like that other stuff does, like it hits the ground. Like most of your sidewalk stuff that you buy is like that big. Now look at the comparison to that. Much bigger, better. So. That's what we're gonna use. We have our little sidewalk one, and now we have our salt spreader. Well, let's see how she works. Take her on her maiden voyage. So there you have it. We're back in the garage, done as far as we really need to do anything on this particular snow, and hopefully the last snow. I was glowing when I was raking this weekend in shorts and a t-shirt, and now hat, coat, gloves, and boots. Not a fan, but we did get to use some tools, so it's been about an hour since we put the salt and stuff down. Let's go see how it worked. Not too bad, I'd say. This is all from blowing, because the snow's all blowing this way. But it's really clean. Yeah, a little blowing up there. Not very, very much blowing down here, but yeah. I hope you can kind of see now how well that that water softener salt with those bigger granules really works. I mean, it just kind of hangs around. I mean, it melts slower and it hangs around. So it turns it anything, any, like any of the water 
on the driveway right now into like salt water so it keeps it from really sticking. That driveway is gonna stay clean the rest of the day. It could even snow a little bit more like decently and it'll still keep it clean. So it does a really good job. I hope you guys had a good time today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. We will see you guys next week.